What is the Guru Catch-22 depression system? Well, it's the impossible conflict of wants that leads to getting no results, but yet increasing the strength of the system. This video covers the third part of Guru Overwhelm, the happy nightmare effect. And you've been trapped in this Guru Overwhelm nightmare for so long that even though you get depressed, the nightmare is designed to make you become happy in spite of that. So you're in a constant state of happy depression and trapped in the Guru Catch-22 system. And like I said in the last video about taking the red pill, there really is no going back once you've learned what I'll show you about what is the true cause of action. So the first part will focus on this crazy happy nightmare people get trapped in. And then I'll reveal the true drivers behind action and it has nothing to do with motivation, inspiration, or positive thinking. I'll also be revealing some details on what I've got coming out soon at the end of this video that's going to deliver on my promise that if you spend six months using the fundamentals, you'll be earning at least $5,000 a month. As I said a moment ago, the happy nightmare is when you're consistently trying to use positive thinking to get results, but it's not working. And you think that you need more positive thinking to solve the problem. And what does that mean in plain English? Well, it means the gurus and the people touting the law of attraction have set you up with a system that doesn't work. You've been taught to think positive thoughts, and these positive thoughts are supposedly designed to motivate and inspire you to take action. And according to their instructions, when you act from inspiration and motivation, you'll be able to achieve what you want, i.e. make a lot of money. So in effect, the Guru Catch-22 depression system is whereby you've been taught to motivate yourself with positive thinking, and then taking action to get the result that you want. And when, when you don't get the result that you want, you've been conditioned to think that you need to think more positive thoughts and take more positive based actions. Hence the system is a catch-22. You've been using positive thinking to motivate yourself to get results. And when it doesn't work, you increase the association with needing even more positive thoughts. Now you get why it's the happy nightmare. You've been taught to think happy thoughts and yet it has no effect on you being able to get results in your life. And you're just trapped in the nightmare. The worst thing about this system is that it's become so ingrained in your psyche and in societies as well. And because of this, it's been working in the subconscious area of your mind, avoiding detection and elimination. The good news is we're shining light on this flawed system. And we'll be not only getting rid of it so that you're no longer trapped, but we'll be replacing it with a system that actually works. And when I say works, I mean a system that literally allows you to get results, i.e. money. And whenever you don't get the results that you wanted, this system allows you to correct your actions such that your actions become more effective at achieving that result, rather than adjusting something that has no effect on your end goal, such as positive thinking. In fact, maybe you can relate to this issue in more areas than just making money. Let's make this crystal clear how you've been negatively affected by this Guru Catch-22 system and show you how it's spread to other areas beside making money. Have you ever read something or been inspired to lose weight? Now let's be honest here, you and I both know how to lose weight. Eat less, exercise more. And we've had times in our lives where we've decided that we're going to lose weight. In fact, we've made New Year's resolutions about it. We felt inspired, we felt passionate, we knew what to do and it didn't work. But then next year comes along, and we resolve to be more disciplined, more motivated, and more determined to lose weight this time. And using what we've learned from the, the gurus, we, we make a positive association with the end result. We put up a vision board and pictures of all the things having to do with looking great and healthy. And we write down on, our, on paper our resolve to lose weight and look great. And we make a declaration out loud that we will achieve a specific weight at a specific time. We feel pumped, we're really feeling the vibe, and then the date that we set comes along and then it goes by and we're no thinner than we were when we started. And at this point, we usually get a new view of ourselves. Something like, I'm not good enough and I'll never get in shape because I don't have enough discipline. And every time we try to lose weight in the future, we're always thinking we need more discipline to do it. If you've been listening to everything that I've talked about up until now, I need to ask you a huge favor. Pay the most attention that you've ever paid to anything in your entire life to what I'm about to talk about right now. I promise a radical transformation if you just stick with me and work what I'm about to reveal to you. And this whole thing will literally clear up the Guru Catch-22 system that you've been trapped in for years. The fundamental teachings from the Gurus has been on the premise of positive thoughts and focusing on your goals. And if you have some discipline and motivation, you'll get there because if you just use the information that's in their courses, it's simply a matter of, quote, putting it into action. So let's clear up the Catch-22 system right now because there's a huge fundamental flaw at the heart of what you've been taught. 
And that flaw is this. Motivation has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with taking action. In fact, discipline, inspiration, positive thinking, and desire have nothing to do with taking action. And yet, when people want to take action, they think that they need to get more discipline, more motivation, more inspiration, think more positive, and get better habits. So let's be clear here. The only thing that determines results is what? Actions. And if you want a new result, you need to take new actions. The problem is you've been taught the wrong things about what determines actions. Let me prove this to you. And by the way, action means the things that you do and the things that you don't do. So have you ever been motivated to do something, like clean your basement, but then you never did it? Okay, so that means even though you had motivation, you took the action of not cleaning the basement. The result you wanted was a clean basement, and you were motivated to clean it, but the action you took was not cleaning it, and the result you got was still having an unclean basement. Therefore, we can assert that motivation was not causing the action that gets us the result we wanted. So let me ask you this. Have you ever felt that you had the discipline to stay on a diet, and then a few days later, or even a few weeks later, you are no longer able to stay on that diet? Well, then we could therefore realize that even though you had discipline, it wasn't enough to get the result you wanted, which was staying on the diet and losing weight. Let's look at inspiration. Have you ever felt inspired to do something, like help a local charity or do some volunteer work, and then did you ever end up getting around to it? Well, then we can assert that inspiration was not causing the actions that led to the result you had felt inspired about. How about desire? Have you ever had a strong desire to quit your job and run a successful online business? Of course, that's why you're here. But that desire has not manifested into the actions that lead to the results that you wanted. Hence, desire cannot be the determinant behind the cause of action. And I think you're getting the point that having motivation, discipline, desire and inspiration and even knowing what we need to do still isn't enough to produce the results that we want. Having those things still didn't let us take the actions that we need to get the results that we want. I'm sure you might even argue that you just didn't have enough motivation, you didn't have enough discipline or inspiration, and you just need a little bit more. But what if you trusted me for just for a moment when I said inspiration, motivation and discipline are not what determines actions and therefore are not what determines your results? Well in that case, there would have to be something else that causes results and something you've never been shown before. And forgive me for using a guru cliche, but we could say that this literally is the missing piece. Now, before I reveal this, I need to apologize. In the first video, you might recall that I said you'll become a person of inspiration and action will flow from you. Well, I said that at the time because I wanted to make sense to you so that I could bring you forward to this point where I could shed some light on a problem that's so under the surface no one is even thinking about thinking about it. And the problem is people have absolutely no idea what determines action, which is the only thing that causes results, or lack thereof. And there is only one thing that causes action, and that is your view of the situation. The only thing that determines the action you take is your view on the particular situation. And believe me when I say, you have many conflicting views on any given situation. And a lot of these conflicts can be attributed to the cloud of guru overwhelm. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's deal with this one subject so it makes perfect sense and you can use this as a new tool to create real results in your life. How's that for a change? I know we're talking about making money here, but let's use our weight example again because I think it will make it very easy for you to really get what I'm talking about. So you're at the weight that you're at because your view on life perfectly explains every action you've taken about weight management up until now. You literally have the perfect result based on how you've viewed life up until now. Let's go straight to the New Year's resolution. Last year at New Year's, you felt upset about your weight, so you decided you wanted to lose weight. However, you didn't address the fundamental views that caused you to be overweight in the first place. You simply tried to attach a new thing on top of an old world view. You tried to use motivation, inspiration, and discipline, as you've been taught by the gurus, to make the change in actions and get the change in results. The problem is, discipline and motivation and inspiration aren't what determine your results. What determines your results with your weight has been the views of yourself, others, and your situation. And it's those three views that determine our actions in everything. Weight, relationships, money, business, social situations, you name it. And it's the view you have that determines the actions. 
So let's look at what happened at New Year's. You had some feelings about yourself that you were overweight. Your view of yourself was, I don't look good the way I am because I'm fat. Then you decide you want to make a New Year's resolution to lose weight. Well, that was determined by all three types of views and likely multiple views for each type of view. You had a view of yourself that I need to get in shape. You had another view of your family that was, they would respect me more if I was in shape. You had another view of your situation, I'm single, but if I lose weight, I could find someone. But the thing is, you've got these views running in the background. They've become automatic ways of viewing for you and you don't even acknowledge that they're there. And if you don't believe me, then try this on for size. When you go to take a drink from a cup, what do you do? You pick the cup up and you put it to your lips to take a sip. And why do you pick it up? Because you have a view of life that says gravity pulls things down. But I would bet my life that when you pick up that cup to take a drink, you aren't actively thinking at each moment, I need to resist gravity to get this cup to my mouth. In fact, you aren't even thinking of anything to do with gravity. You just automatically take the action of picking up the cup and lifting it to your mouth. Do you see how powerful our view on life is? During different points in our lives, we come up with views of our life. And these views shape our actions and we aren't even aware of them. Going back to the weight example, there are these subconscious views that you have of yourself, your situation and the others in your life. And these subconscious views are what shapes your actions. And even though you feel inspired at New Year's and you know what information you need to have to lose weight, eat right and exercise, you still aren't able to do it. Why? Because at some point during your diet or your exercise routine, your subconscious views on life, which have been pre-programmed from an earlier time in your life, take over. Your view of, I'm not good enough to lose weight, and I've never been able to do it before, so I won't be able to do it this time either, and so on and so on. Now let me ask you, what actions would someone take who is trying to lose weight, but has a view on life of, I've never been able to do it before, so I won't be able to do it this time either? Well, that person would obviously quit, wouldn't they? And do you see now how it's the view on life that perfectly determines the actions people take? I'm not talking about good or bad here. And I think you get that all we're looking at here is the relationship between cause and effect and how it has an impact on our life. We want some effect. We want some result, like more money. But the actions that cause that effect aren't happening. And the reason that isn't happening is because we have a view of life that perfectly explains how our lives have been up until this point. And this is where I want to wake you up from the happy nightmare that the gurus have trapped you in. By realizing that there have been unquestioned views that you've had on your life that have been shaping the actions and thus the results that you have or that you don't have, you can now have the power to shape your life again. And all we have to do is get clear on the views that we have about ourselves, our situation, and the people around us. And once we're clear on the view that's been causing us to do what we've been doing, then we can just change it to a new view that actually gets results. How's that for dropping a bombshell? You can have whatever you want, but first we need to get you playing life the way that gets results. And to play life in the gets results lane, you need to shift your view of life. Positive thinking tells you to think positive. Focus on the results. Do the things that will get that result and you'll be the person who has that result. Well, that's a surefire way to fail. That's the have, do, be system of life. And everyone who plays that game never gets the results they want. And I think we all know lots of miserable people playing this game. In fact, let me illustrate how much of a failure this have, do, be system, the law of attraction, these gurus have taught us really is. One thing we all love is the idea of getting something new, like a new car. But let me ask you, have you ever gotten a new car, or even a newish used car, and been happy with the car? Sure. But have you also been in that car and had a totally crummy day, and hence been unhappy? Of course. So we're happy having the car, and we're also unhappy having the car. Well, wait a second. That must mean that the car is not determining who we are being, happy or unhappy. Let's take another example, a dream home. Well, have you ever gotten a new place to live and been really excited that you've got this new place? Of course you have. And have you ever had a really crummy day at your house before? Of course you have. So you've experienced happiness and sadness while still in possession of this new house that you wanted. Well, that means having the house had no determination on who you were being. 
happy or unhappy. Do you see how terrible this have, do, be system is? We've been taught by the gurus to start thinking about what we want to have and that by having that thing, we can do the things that we want to do and then we can be the person that we want to be. The only slight flaw with this system is that it completely doesn't work. The fact is this, if you want to create real results in your life and you want to have a real successful internet marketing business and it's not just some pipe dream, then you need to play life the way that gets results. And that way is the be, do, have system. You need to start by being the person that would do the things it would take to have what you want. And what determines the type of person you're being? Your view. The things you have do not determine who you are being. It's who you're being that determines the things that you have. And it's your views on life that determine who you're being. And the one thing you have total control over is what you think. The problem is, because you've been caught in this Cat 22 happy nightmare system, you've been taught to think about having things rather than think about the views of life. And hopefully now, the last video in this series makes total sense. Now you can see why I was getting at the root views of life we had that were going unquestioned and replacing them with the new views. You also need to realise something. Your views on life aren't good or bad. They simply explain everything that you have in your life perfectly. And if we forget about the morality of your life for a moment, and we just look at results, then wouldn't you prefer to use a system that produces the results that you want, instead of the results that you don't want? You can use the law of attraction, you can use diet, but are they really getting you the results that you want? If they aren't, then I invite you to consider this new be, do, have way of living. And this be, do, have way of living is what is going to get you out of that happy nightmare syndrome that was put there by the gurus you'll also start getting real results in your life. And it's very simple to live this lifestyle. From now on, every time you're doing something and you're not getting the results that you want, stop and ask yourself, what's my view on life that's shaping the action I'm taking right now? And if it's not a view that is getting your results, then change the view. Remember, we make up all the views we have in life because when we were born, we didn't have any views at all. So therefore, every view that we have is just made up. And if we're going to make things up, let's make our views on life that actually get us results. So how would someone who wants to lose weight actually lose weight? Well first they need to get clear on the subconscious thoughts that have been running in the background. And when you stop and focus and listen to what your brain is saying, you can pick them up. So once this person realizes that they have a view of their self that I've never been able to do it before so I won't be able to do it this time either, then they can unmake that up by realizing that they made it up in the first place. And don't worry about good or bad, focus on results only. And it's clear that view won't help get any results. So this person just needs to replace that view with a new one that goes, I do exactly what I need to do to lose weight consistently. And this person can also clear up the other views that they've had about the situation and the people in their life. So the view that my family will respect me more if I'm in shape could be changed to, I'm excited to share my health and new body with my family. And the view that the person situation of I'm single because I'm fat could change to one that empowers action. So a new, a new view for that could be I'm an attractive person and by getting healthy I'll be showing that off. Are you starting to get, and I mean really get, how powerful this new way of living life is? If we start fixing the views that we've had, especially the ones that the gurus put there, that aren't letting us get results, then we can get new views that let us get results. And now you get why I kept saying in the last video that this stuff isn't positive thinking. Positive thinking is what keeps you in the guru created Cat 22 happy nightmare system. In that system, you keep not getting the results you want, but you try to increase your positive thinking, even though it has absolutely no effect on the results that you actually want. But getting out of that system is easy when we start playing life the be, do, have way. Where we fix views that haven't been working and create new ones that do work. And the views shape who we become, which then shape what we do, which then affects what we have, i.e. the results. In fact, let me share an example of how this worked for me. Before I ever started making money online, I had a belief that it was extremely hard to make money. 
my parents had taught me that in reality, people didn't make a lot of money and that I should enjoy my childhood while I could because life becomes very hard when you become an adult. So my view on life was that money didn't just fall into your lap. You had to work really hard for it and even then you still didn't get much money. My dad was a farmer so he worked every single day. Birthdays, holidays, Christmas, it didn't matter. He had to work every single day. For the first six months that I tried to make money online, I didn't make a single dime. I figured it was because of my poor mental attitude. So I tried to think more positive. Then the movie The Secret came out, which is all about the law of attraction. Boy, did that get me motivated and inspired. Unfortunately, it didn't get me any results, which sucked big time because I wanted to believe so bad that that was the reason why I hadn't achieved any success. And now that I had discovered the law of attraction that everything would fall into place, I literally believed that the law of attraction was the missing piece. After a while, I realized that I had to change. That famous quote of, to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result is the definition of insanity. For some reason, that quote always stuck with me. So after another six months of trying to succeed with positive thinking and the law of attraction, I decided I had to change and I had to take a serious look at myself and the action that I was taking. It was then I realized that I needed to do the things that actually got me physical results, cash in my bank account. So I changed my view from I just need to sit and think positive and think about making money and it will come rushing into my bank account to I'm going to focus on the actions that get me real world results. Because of this view, I was able to get real world results and I want to share a quick story of something I was able to do because of the results I achieved. Now, a common belief or view that we have, usually subconsciously, is money is bad. We get this from our parents, our friends, the media, movies, and just society in general. Well, I had this belief big time. I actually felt guilty working on my websites because I had that little voice in my head saying, you shouldn't be doing this for the money. You should be doing it because you love it. You know that whole thing, right? It's wrong and it's evil to do it for the money and you should do things only because you love them and because you're passionate about them, even if they absolutely make you zero money, even if you end up broken homeless because of it. Well, that belief died when I was able to do something very special for my brother and my dad. Back in 2008, I had quite a successful year. So for Christmas, I took my brother and my dad on a holiday around America. This was very special because my dad had worked on a farm his whole life and he had never been overseas. So because of the success that I had, I was able to take them both across the world and have a dream vacation. Something that my parents would have never been able to afford, but because of the money that I had, I was able to pay for the entire thing. We done everything. We went to Vegas, we saw the Grand Canyon, we went to Disneyland. Uh, me and my brother are a big wrestling fan, so I got ringside tickets to WrestleMania. And basically, I was able to create such an unbelievable experience for the people that I love. And to this day, the happiest moment in my life was the day that I told my dad and my brother that we're going to America. To see the joy and the happiness in their faces is something that I, uh, that I can't even describe. But the point is, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that if I didn't change the way that I viewed life, and more specifically, the way I viewed money. It's sad, but it's true. The gurus want to keep you in that happy nightmare system, because when you're in there, you will never break out and you'll never become successful yourself, which means more money in the guru's pockets. So I hope you can see how important it is to change your views and how devastating the happy nightmare system can be. As you know, in this video series, we've been exposing guru overwhelm and clearing up some of the major problems that it's caused. The aim of this series is to kick you out of any potential rut that guru overwhelm has caused you to get in. But I'd love to actually be there to help you excel at an amazing life and reach your financial business goals. And that's exactly why I will be releasing an even more comprehensive program after this video series is concluded called the Guru Overwhelm Cure. And with that, I'd like to talk to you now about what I've got coming up for you. The soon to be released Guru Overwhelm Cure has one goal, to get you to the $5,000 per month income bracket in six months and then beyond. This video series was designed to make you aware of the crippling problems Guru Overwhelm has caused you. The four parts that made it up and to give you some of the major insights you need to get out of any rut Guru Overwhelm has caused you to fall into. 
And as you can tell, there's a lot that's been going on under the surface of your business that's gone unnoticed and the Guru Overwhelm Cure is designed to fill in all the blanks the Gurus have created and pick up where this series ends off. We'll be clearing up all the marketing myths, simplifying things down so it's easy to get traffic and conversions and putting you in the driver's seat of your own success. It's not even 5% of what's in there, but I'm just giving you a quick heads up as I'll release full details in the next video. You will actually make money for once and you'll be able to do it consistently with my Guru Overwhelm Cure course. In fact, that's not the only thing I've got for you. I have something huge going alongside the Guru Overwhelm course that I'll leave as a surprise for the next video. There's a lot more I want to share with you about the Guru Overwhelm Cure, but I'll have to save that for the next video where I'll also be covering the last part of Guru Overwhelm, the Guru Cult Kool-Aid Effect, which is all about how your personal power has been robbed from you by the gurus and how you can reclaim it back. In other words, if each day seems to spiral out of control and you get nothing done, this next video is going to reveal why and ways to resolve that issue. I can't wait to share more with you and cover the last part of Guru Overwhelm, the Guru Cult Kool-Aid Effect. I'll see you in the next video.